Hello everyone, it's Brett here, Lionheart84, and just a very short avocado video that um, this uh, is of interest to me and might be a, a few people who follow my channels. Um, I did post a video probably a couple of weeks ago. I have to excuse me, uh, the neighbours doing hedge trimming at the moment, so you might not be able to hear me properly throughout the video. A couple of weeks ago I featured all my uh, avocados that I was doing a, a soil or compost trial on and I had uh, two of them planted in um, a complete pure aggregate compost, uh, one of them in a 511 compost and one of them in a standard potting compost. Uh, now these two here were two of the plants that I had planted in the pure aggregate compost. Um, and they actually hadn't put out a single new leaf in about four months since I put them in the compost. This one was suffering from root rot and I tried it in the aggregate thinking it would um, save the plant. And this is one of my bacon seedlings that I'd had in the um, aggregate. And if you look back to that video, um, neither of them had shown, as I said, a single bit of growth at all over a four month period whereas the others had probably tripled or quadrupled in size in the other compost mixes but within two weeks of moving them into a 511 mix this is the results this is the seedling bacon that hadn't put out any leaves at all since it had been put in the compost and it's now showing new growth and this is in September, so it's obviously not the ideal growing time of the year for these. And this is my one that I had sort of some form of root rot. Sorry, I lost the focus there for a minute. That I think I potted up in the aggregate mix in about probably March or April. And all it did was gradually turn its leaves brown like this and didn't grow or do a single thing. And within two weeks of being in the... Uh, 511 mix it started to generate new growth which would have to mean that the roots are now regenerating um, and obviously you can see the growth on the growing tip but also these little buds in the axles at the top start to show growth so I'm really impressed with the impact it's had on them instantly and it does indicate that the absolute pure aggregate mix I used was too aggressive for the root systems to cope with. Um, they obviously prefer something a little bit lighter and a bit softer for the roots to get going and although you would think that mix would have been high oxygen and good water flow it clearly wasn't quite right for the plants which has been a concern for me when try testing out these uh, these aggregate mixes um, you can go a little bit too far on them I think and it's just something that the plants aren't used to coping with from uh, their natural habitats so um, I just thought I'd do a quick update on that just to show how quickly the plants have uh, started to regenerate and I'm hoping as we're still only in September that there'll be a couple of months growth for them and we could get another three or four inches on these before winter proper starts. So thanks for watching the video, much appreciate it. Please give me a thumbs up, obviously subscribe to my channel, you can share the video if you think it might prove useful to anybody trying to grow avocados and remember to uh, click on the bell if you'd like to uh, know when new videos come out. I'll catch up with you all soon. Brett out for now.